Dryden based Agritech North has been on a winning streak lately. The company has brought in a host of prizes and awards for their hydroponic farming company, which aims to address food insecurity in the north with year round produce. Lee Noonan reports. No matter the weather, Agritech North can provide fresh, locally grown produce to customers in Dryden, Kenora, and Sioux Lookout. Recently, CEO Ben Fagan and his fiance, master grower Fabian Velez, took home the $100,000 grand prize on APTN's Bears Lair, a Dragon's Den style indigenous business competition. The $100,000 uh, from Bears Lair is intended to match other programs uh, in order to get us a solar system for the roof here, which will lower our cost to produce by 20% and get our leafy greens onto the wholesale market. Agritech also brought home the Northwestern Ontario Innovation Centre's 2022 Innovative Project of the Year Award and the Dryden Chamber of Commerce Awards for Young Business Leader and Business of the Year. Fagan is thrilled to be getting recognition at the national, regional and local levels. He says the company is currently operating at about half capacity as they continue to test plant varieties and methods and work towards expanding into a new space. We are growing around 79 different varieties right now. We were growing around 103 only because we were testing which are the best varieties, which ones are work optimal in this type of setting. Strawberries, blueberries, kale, arugula, spinach, lettuces, we're testing it all. Ultimately, they hope to develop a model for indoor farming that could be implemented by rural and remote communities in the north. Our next plan is just to feed as many people as we can, make sure everyone has a complete nutrition in front of them and they don't have to choose food that they don't want because of their, the amount of money they have, that the same amount of money they can still get something that's proper, nutritious and fresh. Same price as the grocery store or cheaper. Yep. They're aiming to have the first remote community farm starting up and to move from their current pilot facility into a larger one in the next two to three years. And in the meantime, their produce is available to customers in the region through the Agritech North website. Lee Noonan, TBT News.